That's just the kind of quality programming that's ruining it for the rest of us. <laughs> Please welcome Jamie Mays, everybody. Jamie Mays. Lovely. What a lovely... May I say, you look adorable with your green top well, and your thank you. lovely red hair. Thank you very much. You, uh... That was good. That but singing, it was good. You liked it? Yeah, I it did. It was okay. And Jema's a lovely name, is that... Well, thank you. What kind of a name is that? Um, well, I think my parents made it up. I think they were... They were trying to be hippies, that's what I think. Trying to be hippies? Yeah, my... Or actual hippies? Well, I think they were trying to be. They weren't cool enough. Sorry, they... I mean, they're great parents, No, no, but... no, no, it's okay. Hippies are not cool. Hippies aren't no, cool? No, 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 oh, no. Oh, no, I've been so confused all these years. No, no, no. You see people that say, oh, I follow the Grateful Dead? They're not cool. They're not no, cool. No, no, no. So, I'm I might be cool. <laughs> you, no, you, are you cool? Um, I, I would love to say that, um, but no. Well, let's let's have a little bit of a test. Let's okay. see if you're cool. Oh um, no, a test. I'm already nervous, and well, now. Well, see, that's test. that's not cool. That's not. No. That's gonna work against you. So okay, let's right. try again. Um, I'm look. so not nervous. All oh, right, no. Did it pass? Well, so, well, that no, we're not done yet. Oh, All right, okay. okay. All right. All right. I am gonna leave a dollar. Oh. Here. Money. That's exactly what it is. Yes. <laughs> You're American, right? I am American. Right. Okay. So this is what we use for money here. Okay. Um, Currency. Right. Now I'm gonna leave it here, and you're gonna not steal it. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> you're not cool at all. Oh, dang it. You were gonna steal that. I was. Well, you can have it then. Well, at least you're honest. I'm rich. <laughs> really? What are they paying you over at Fox? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that song was from the Rocky Horror Show, wasn't it? It was. It I, was. I've done that show before. I've heard. You played Brad. I did. I played Brad Majors, the all-American kid. Yes. I know. Yes. <laughs> You know, now as I think of it, this is the stupidest piece of casting I can think of. That's ridiculous. <laughs> have you ever seen that show? Do you ever go to the theatres and throw rice and all that? I have toast. You throw toast and you squirt water at people. Yes, that's, that's what you really want when you're an actor actually performing the show. That yeah. makes it great fun. That's right. <laughs> that's right. No, you know, I actually performed that show here in Los Angeles not long after I moved here. It was a very small theater, like a 99-seater theater. Did you play Janet Weiss? I played Janet. Oh. And um, that was my, Touch a Touch Me was my audition song for Glee. That's adorable. Thank you. Well, you see, that is, in fact, quite cool. You can have another dollar, actually. Oh, my. <laughs> there you go. Hey, no, wait. Wait. I just had an idea. Okay. We should have a kind of a game show thing behind us, like okay. win a dollar. Okay. Well, like, like, well, here it would be more like a sort of carny thing. But, you know, like, I'll okay. ask you a question, you get okay. it right, I'll give you a dollar. Can All right. you have another question? Another yeah, question? sure, right, okay. I'm well, this question's for a dollar. Okay. All right, and if you get the question wrong, I ping your wrist with the elastic band. Uh, okay. Okay. So, you gotta make a decision, the elastic band, a dollar. Okay, for now, I'm gonna go with the dollar. Okay, well, well. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. This question is, who were yes. the no. main influences mm -hmm. of the French existentialist Jean-Paul Sartre? I think that was Marc Jacobs. No, not the dollar. No. Is that gonna hurt? Yes. <laughs> a lot. All right. Oh, have the dollar then. You're too adorable for me to hurt. Hooray! Now, where are you from, Jamie, with your hippie parents? Um, I am from a very small coal mining town. I'm not putting my money there because I don't trust you. So I'm gonna actually stuff it here. Oh, you here. trust me? You, you don't trust me, so you're putting it in I'm there? Yeah. It in there. I just want to make sure I leave with it. Um, I'm from a very. <laughs> Uh, I'm from a very small coal mining town called Grundy in Virginia, in the Appalachian Grundy. Mountains. Yes. That's a lovely name for a town. Mm. Grundy in mm -hmm. Pennsylvania, you say? Virginia. Virginia. That's Why okay. did I say Pennsylvania? Should I get a dollar for that? Yeah. Right. You got yeah. it wrong. Right. 
Ah, uh, they grow up so fast, don't they? <laughs> Now, tell me, are your parents were hippies in a coal mining town? That's going to be tricky. They weren't really hippies. They're going to be really angry if I say that. They weren't really hippies. They were just, they were creative. <laughs> so they were creative in a, well, you can be creative and be a coal miner. Of course. Yeah. Yes. My, my father actually owned a business that tested the coal that came out of the, the coal mine. So he wasn't what, he a coal a fire? miner. It kind of. <laughs> Yes. Put that on. Yep, it's working. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is that it? Basically. Basically in a nutshell, yes. Yeah. And did you have a big family when you lived there? I have a brother and a sister and a mother and a father. <laughs> well, I guess they do things kind of weird and grunty. <laughs> <clears throat> now, uh, did they pressure you to go down the mines? I'm sure it was the family business. You've got to get down the mines, young lady, and right. dig with, for coal. <laughs> with my canary. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. yes, the canary. Yeah, Do you have right. a canary? They, I don't have a canary, no. Well, you can buy one now with your four dollars. I might could get four. <laughs> I don't know how much is a canary these days. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks 20 for bucks. a canary? That's oh, still, more yeah, questions, right, yeah. please. All right. This one's for the canary. Okay. All right. Um, do you have any pets? Yes. Okay. Wait. Oh. Uh, are they cats? Yes. Oh. <laughs> now. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> doing so do well. you think? Do you think your cat knows things? Like what things? You know, like it's intuitive. It knows things about like people. Like ESP. Yeah, that kind of thing. Um. Yes. <laughs> All right, tell me about you. You're out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're out. Uh, so, uh, what? He, he reminds me of an old boyfriend. I just have to say that. <laughs> no way you dated him. I mean, you're cute, but you ain't his type. He's gay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had some of those too. It's okay. Really? I haven't. <laughs> Um, what about, um, what about your cats then? How many cats have you got? I've got two cats. What are they called? Fraulein and Heidi. Is that funny? Is that funny? You have German cats? <laughs> Do they a little pause march up and down your kitchen? Do you hear them? Are they German cats? I don't think so. I don't think so. One's a calico and one's a mutt. <laughs> No, that doesn't sound German to me. Why did you give your cats German names? I don't know. I just like, I, when I looked at this little calico cat, I thought, Fraulein. It just right. fits. And then I got the other cat, and I loved the book Heidi, and the movie Heidi with Shirley Temple, so I named... They just kind of went together, Fraulein and Heidi. Shirley Temple, the, as a movie star, is kind of a little before your time, isn't it? You... I just look really good for my age. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in your early 90s, then? <laughs> Coal mining was pretty tough in the 19th century, as I believe, yeah. <laughs> hey, we're out of time. Uh, that's it, you're, you're done here. Oh. <laughs> Not forever. No, just, you know, just... Well, you, you can stay for the end, I suppose. I'm kind of busy. Are you busy? Yeah. <laughs> well, would you like a mouth organ? I'm sorry? A mouth organ. For one to keep? Can I keep it? For doing a little tune with me now, Mrs. Glee Musical, okay. the talented person. Okay, I'll give it a go. All right. Just, you know. It's all wrapped in everything. That's right. So For your clean. sanitation and protection. I can't get it out, though. Help, I had need help. So you'd be rubbish down a coal mine, I tell you that. <laughs> getting coal out of a seam is much harder than getting a mouth organ out of a box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep going so the sensor doesn't notice what happened. You ready? Can you play? Sure. Okay, you ready? <laughs> A one, two, one, two, three. Adorable Jamie Mays, everybody. Hello, Jamie. Wow, hello. Hello, sweetie. You look 
fantastic. You, Thank you very you're much. You're quite orangey this evening. Emma? You've got your orange skirt and orange your hair. hair's a little... Or, well, it's not orange, but it has that orange kind of... Orange-ish. orange -ish. You look yeah, nice. You thank look, you. Yeah, you look, I like this big chain, too. Yeah, this is my Mr. T chain. Mr. T? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought when you walked out. I thought, Mr. T. <laughs> yeah, I get that all the time. No, I know. You must, because you are the spitting image of... Yeah. But... I pity the fool that doesn't get what you're going for there. <laughs> hey, um, how's the Smurfs movie, then? Is that is it good? It, yeah. Right. Yes, yes. Next question. No, no. I, I want to stay with the Smurfs. Let's talk about the Smurfs. Did you work with uh, real Smurfs or animatronic I ones? did. Well, you know, it's based on a true story. <laughs> So we brought in the real guys and did The real the, guys yeah. from the Smurfs. The Smurfs are blue people that live in a toilet. I can't That's remember. Right. Is that right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then um, what um, do they do? Get uh, up to tricks? They get up to tricks. No, no, they get sucked through a vortex, as that happens from time to time. Up to me. And uh, spat out into New York City, and they come into our world and cause mayhem and madness, and we help them get back to Smurfland safely. All right. Do you, and, but you probably have a romantic thing going on in the movie, do you? I do a papa. You do, Papa Smurf? Papa. You do Papa no, Smurf? No, no, it got so quiet. Like it was no, 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 but you know Papa Smurf is actually street slang for a really rude sex act. No. <laughs> yeah, you just said, I do a Papa Smurf in the movie. I'm like, I'll see it. <laughs> it's not, it's a joke, it's a joke. It's not a real thing. I just made it up. What it's about not... Gutsy? Gutsy? Gutsy Smurf. Gutsy is it? Gutsy Smurf. Is that actually is a, a, a sex act, a Gutsy Smurf. <laughs> no, it's not. And neither is a Papa Smurf, just so you don't cut it all out of the show. <laughs> all right? You know that? All right. <laughs> How are you doing? I haven't seen you since last week. I met your husband last week. He's, you did? What a lovely man. He's, he's English, charming. you know. I, I don't I know. know if you noticed. I know. He got me with the accent, which did... I think is fake. I think he's been putting that on for five no, years No, it sounded pretty real to me. He was yeah. like, hello, how jolly nice to meet you. And you're marvellous. <laughs> and uh, he's very nice. He talks like that every day. And he wears tweed and he smokes a pipe and like this. Smokes a pipe like that? <laughs> 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 I can't tell you how unusual that is. <laughs> Holmes never even did it like that. It's like, you know, it's lucky I have extremely strong fingers. It's fancier that way. Yeah, well, it's no, that's, that, that's how you know they're genuinely English. <laughs> that's how they smoke their pipe. Now, did you meet him in England or over here? No, I met him over here. We were right. on a job together. Ah. And we fell in love and got married in the whole Well, thing. that's adorable. Have you been over to England? I have. Did you like it there? I loved it there. Did you meet the Queen? No. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, you haven't really been she there yet. She didn't invite me. It was so weird. <laughs> did, you, did you follow the uh, when uh, Prince William and Kiki Wigglesworth were over here? Did you... <laughs> Oh, everybody adores Kiki's Kiki. My she's reignited my love of the royal family. Not really, but what the hell. I, but she seems uh, human. They seem quite human. No, they seem lovely. I don't know. We don't follow that as much as we should, probably. But well, you're Americans. Well, yeah. I'm American. Is he still English? Uh, does that cause problems? Uh, you know, like during uh, NFL season and stuff like that. Uh, he doesn't understand it. But neither do I. You do I get confused with the sports. I don't know. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, it took me a long time to get uh, to understand the football until Joe Theismann was on the show and he said, basically what happens is a bunch of people here, they want to put the ball over here, and a bunch of people here want to put the ball over here. That's the game. That's simple. Yeah, yeah, and I thought, <laughs> seems to work out. I think I can follow that. <laughs> and lo and behold, it does. That's all that happens. Are you a sports fan? Mm, not a lot, no. Really, you must feel very out of place in that glee set with all those sports fans there. Then. <laughs> right, right. Man, it must be sports all the time. <laughs> NFL, NBA. Have you seen the hockey? What's the coming to go? What's the coming to go? Yeah, you know us well. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like I'm there. <laughs> are you? Uh, are you be doing any singing? Are you doing any of that? Um, not right now. Yeah. I mean, I could not now. But now, just but sing something right now. Uh, oh, mm, that's good. Huh? Mm, thank, no, you. thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Have you ever been to Australia? Ever been to Broken Hill, Australia, and no. Dingo Baby? Ever been there? No. <laughs> You're making me feel very untraveled. <laughs> All right, then, well, where have you been? If you haven't been to the Queen's House or Broken Hill, Australia, where the hell have you been? Uh, I've been to Encino. <laughs> It was great. Really They've got a great mall. Yeah, no, they have got a very nice mall there. Yeah. The Sherman Oaks Mall there. Mm, yeah. Kebabs. Kebabs. They got the kebabs. Yeah. They got the cinema there. Yeah. yeah. yeah five different screens, I think. Or I maybe think more. So. Yeah. 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 Fancy. You, you can see any movie you want. You could see Captain America. Are you going to go and see that? Probably, yeah. yeah. Are you really? Yeah. Yeah, why not? You surprised? Often. <laughs> 
Yeah, I am surprised. I didn't th see you as a superhero goer. I like superheroes. I always wanted to be a superhero but have like a useless superpower. Like I wanted to be able to chew che cheese for my wrists. That's not That's not useless. That's awesome. Right? I think yeah. so too, right? You shoot cheese from your wrists, I'll I'll be happy to see you. Right. Like right at a party, right? right. Like if it's someone like, you see. Finish cheese. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that'd be lovely. Empty cracker on your plate. <laughs> Yeah, but that, then your, your name would be Cheese Girl. Cheese Girl. That's okay. It's better than what I'm called now. I'm not telling you. You have started. to tell me. Please. You're the one that tweeted no, it. No, no. This is legally, California state law, if you are asked a question on a talk show, if you refuse to answer that question, then you have to... Is that true? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, it is. It's a weird law nobody knows about that I just made up, but what happens is that... You actually have to... That would be great if that was a law. We should try and get that to be a law. Well, my husband calls me Gingaloid. Gingaloid? Yeah. Is that some is that kind English? of English sexy thing? <laughs> While he's smoking the pipe. That's right. He's smoking his giant pipe. Hey, Gingaloid. Sarah, let me just say this, Gingaloid. <laughs> Let's go to England. Which part of England is he from? He's from Bath. 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 Well, oh, Bath is lovely. You it's must. Oh, it's one of the most beautiful towns I've ever seen. Yeah. They've got lovely big buildings there. They're with, like yeah, circular. Yeah, big circle of buildings, and then you walk up, and everyone's had a bath. <laughs> Very clean city. It's very, very clean town, and, and everyone's very friendly, all smoking their pipes in that weird way. Yeah. Welcome to Bath. Yeah, it's just like that. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> what is this? Why is that there? It's a cup made out of a snake. Which... I saw a rattlesnake the other day. A real one? person, yeah. In an Encino? In Encino. At the mall? At the mall. They're always there now. Lined yeah. up for Captain America. Yeah, in line for Captain America. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you speak parcel tongue? Do I what? Parcel tongue. It's the snake That's language. Rude. Don't you ever read Harry Potter? If you don't, I hate you. No. Oh no. Of course. Of course. Have it, you yes, never read Harry course. Potter? You don't tell me no, you haven't read Harry Potter. No, of course I have. Of course I have. All the time, every day, just before I came out. Have you read Harry Potter? Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I had you down as Harry Potter, but no, you're some cheese shooting sports fan. <laughs> Parcel tongue is what is the language of snakes, and Harry Potter can speak it. That's why they know he's kind of like, whoa, it, he seems to have a piece of, um, you know, Voldemort in him from the... Oh, well, never mind. Well, can you speak it? If you speak it, maybe I'll understand it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you better bleep that out. <laughs> All right, uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, touch my glittery ball. Don't choose just my glittery ball. Uh, um, well, you did mouth organ already, right? I did. Can we do a double mouth organ day? <laughs> Actually, the, the... No, no. The technical name for that is a Papa Smurf, but all right. <laughs> okay. Why, they gotta get it out? All right, if you can play this, uh, I mean, we're running low on these golden mouth it's organs, so... definitely this side, right? Uh, you choose your part of the organ and get blown. You go okay. ahead. Look, there's no denying you are adorable, but I don't know if that classifies as golden mouth organ material. Let's have one more. Are we doing a duet? Or am I doing it on my own? I'm just trying to prepare. You do it and I'll... You, you do it and I'll watch you. Okay. No, 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 you're just making it up. You're just making it up. Just don't, you're just going... That was beautiful. Oh, what the hell? Bring out the golden mouth organ. Look 
you too. Thank you. You look lovely. I said thank you before you even said anything. I just said thank you. Thank you. Well, that's good. Thank you. Thank I was, you. I was thinking something that you'd probably want to thank me for. Well, do I look smart? You look very... I love your glasses. They're, they're great. They're tor tortoise shell. Tortoise shell? Yeah, you look like you've got kind of a, a purse on your face. Oh. Oh. I'm trying on smart these days. You know? it, it makes you look smart. Day. You are smart, though. Very. No, you're reasonably smart, aren't you? Reasonably is a good word to describe how smart I am. <laughs> <laughs> I do like. I didn't know you had to wear glasses. Have you been wearing contact lenses? Yes, I'm very blind. Really? Yeah. So and why? Why have you started? Is it a fashion thing? No, no. My eye, my eye feels a little funny today, so I couldn't get my contact in. This is not a fashion statement. All I right. wish I could say that it was, but it's me just being really blind. Wait, you, you should put <laughs> your, your your glass your hair up, and then your glasses on, and then I say, take your glasses off, and you shake, and you shake your hair out. And oh, right. <laughs> but it's like a Superman thing, right? People don't. Superman? No, Lois Lane. Yes, oh, yes. Okay. Superman. It would be bad if he did that. You'd be like. Mm. <laughs> What are you hiding under your suit, Superman? No. So this is, I like your dress as well. Thank the, oh, there's, there's That's suit. to breathe. You know, when you get hot under here, you have a little vent. <laughs> so you can. I can't I, imagine you would get. You wouldn't yeah. get. You male. What was it? Men sweat. No, horses sweat. Men perspire. Mm -hmm. Ladies merely glow. Oh. You didn't know that one? No, I didn't. know Oh, that you one. haven't watched enough Downton Abbey. But I'm clearly. <laughs> Do you watch Downton Abbey? I love Downton Abbey. Yeah, I love Downton Abbey too, but if you even if you joke about Downton Abbey, people get upset. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. No, I love Downton Abbey. I'm right. obsessed. I, I bit. got into terrible trouble because I watched it in Britain when I was over there for Christmas, and so I know what happens. What? I, oh, I can't tell you. Wait, you know, wait, you know the end of season two. Oh yeah, I do. Tell I know us. the end of. Tell I know, us. No, I cannot tell you. For mm. if I tell you, you think they were mad at me when I did the Hellboy Greater Than X, man? They go crazy if I do that. I did it the other night on the show. People went mad. It was an accident, a pure accident. I'd love to know. Can you tell me later? No. Okay. <laughs> Well, I can tell you, but you can find this out. You can go on Google it. Don't you have a computer? I don't understand computers. I just got the radio. You got a radio? Yeah. <laughs> what do you listen to on the radio? Jack Benny? He's popular with all the kids. He's great. Yeah. yeah. He's a little too swingy for me. <laughs> you don't swing. You've got, you've, got, you've got an English husband. I do. I've met your husband. He's lovely. It's kind of like having your own episode of Downton Abbey. <laughs> He's kind of like, you know, he's he's kind of like Mr. Bates. And I make him dress up with a little bow tie. <laughs> what do you That sounded me? naughty. But no, <laughs> I know. Only because I'm going, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Like that you makes say everything naughty. Right, as soon as you say something perfectly innocent, I go, oh, oh. <laughs> and I draw the creep factor out of it, you see? That made me red. Really? You I'm blush? getting blushy. Yeah. Oh, so you do get into cosplay uh, sex things with your husband then. That's no. what it is. <laughs> No, no. You know what you're talking about? I'm playing the part of the scientist right now. I don't so know. So you what dress you're up as a scientist? <laughs> I think I've discovered something. <laughs> no. Anyway, did he get a citizenship yet? He gets it this week. Oh, really? He's becoming a citizen this well, week. Congratulations, that's yeah. great. Yeah. That is terrific. Right. Very good. He's taken his test. He's done all the test stuff, so now he just. So you got the test. The yeah, the, just yeah. the oath. Yeah. Well, there's no. Yeah. Once you get to that part, then you can just. And then he has to get the tattoo, and oh. then you're done. Oh, uh, we didn't know about the. Ta I didn't even have the tattoo. Oh yeah. Well, I yeah. have to get a tattoo. Well, are you an American citizen? Mm, I thought so. <laughs> Apparently not. Well, where were you from originally? I'm from Virginia. Well, you see, you were born here. You don't have to you have, don't a, have tattoo. To have a tattoo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you if you come in from another country, tattoo and uh, you get a you get a ball cap and uh, okay, a t-shirt right. and uh, and a map. If I had <laughs> if I had to do the test though, because he had to take his big test a few weeks ago, yeah. I don't think that I could be a citizen. It was really hard. <laughs> You know, they changed it after I sat it. Oh, they did? Yeah, I think they kind of realized they had set the bar a little low. Because <laughs> I was like, I breezed it. I, I mean, it was like easy. Like, we're going to make this harder. Yeah, we got to Letting this all is the too hard. Happen. Yeah, because he's coming in, you know, saying, hell boy, great. Or that. Let me ask you. Like, uh, I, I'm not, not trying to put you on the spot or anything, but what do you prefer, hell boy or x Men? <laughs> Is it bad if I say I don't know what Hellboy is? That sounds scary. <gasps> is that sure bad? you're an American? I thought so. I feel like I'm failing miserably. No, no, no. Hellboy's Hellboy. it's a it's a well what I was doing was that I was just I, look, I'm just I'm feeling bad about this. People get really mad at me and I didn't mean it, you know. Okay. Well my wife get mad at me. It's okay. 
Yeah, you're not my wife, but that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you and your husband agree on everything all the time? I know, yes, everything. <laughs> Absolutely everything. I mean, I'm always right somehow. It's weird. I always get it right. And then... It's weird how that happens. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, I've noticed my wife's right a fair, fair amount of the time. A lot, lot more than actually is true. Well, you know, you want to be right, you want to be happy. That's yeah. what I say. Yeah. Do you want to be right? You, you want to sleep on the couch? You know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I was right today. I told him today was, um, this is the great thing about being married to a foreigner. I told him today was actually President's Day, not President's Day. So President's Day. It's not you got, you got your presents? Yeah, well, he's supposed to, because I woke up and I was masters? like, where are all the presents? Did you get your <laughs> <laughs> where are all my presents? He said, I thought it was President's Day. No, President's <laughs> Day. President's Day. It's great. Yeah. Well, I'm excited you win again. <laughs> We have to take a commercial break. You want to do it? Or you want me to get Jeff to do it? Or I can do it if you, you want. You do it. I don't know how to do it. Right. Can I watch? <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I'm here with Jamie Mays. We're out of time, Jamie. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I say that because it takes a long time usually to get finished. Usually, if I say we're out of time now, then it gives us time to like you know mess around and get it sorted. So, okay. anyway. It's okay. So okay. We're, we're we're out of time. So, how would you like to wrap it up? Would you want a mouth organ, glittery ball? No, do we do glittery ball? Yeah, sometimes mouth organ, glittery ball, uh, touch the magic spot. Uh, <laughs> That's a new one. I just put that one in. Or do you want to go for the big cash prize? Big cash prize. Oh, what? What time is the show? Big cash prize. I'm sorry, I've had a bit of a cold. It's okay. Yeah? It's all right. I don't want to give you a cold here. Hang on. It's okay. You know. Coming. Coming. Yeah, you don't really need it because you didn't touch the magic spot, but all right. <laughs> Okay. All right, there you go. Right. That feels nice, doesn't it? Nice, isn't yeah. it? Aren't you glad I said we're out of time? Because now yeah. we've got time. We've got time to do this. Yeah, I sometimes I set my alarm clock early so that I wake up and I go, oh, uh huh. Oh, time. A little bit of extra time. And this is what you do. It's kind, of what, it's kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, when I have extra time, I I'll wake up time. my wife and go, what do you want to go when I get cut by? <laughs> That's what she takes over her touch the magic spot. Uh, <laughs> only if I say stupid things about Hellboy and X Men on Twitter. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, well, there's two ways to win the big cash prize. All right. You can either answer the question or guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You guess what it is. If you're right, Jeff will tell you. If you're wrong, a terrible thing will happen to you. <laughs> I think I know what's in the box, and I don't think it's very nice. Wait, I haven't, well, well, I, haven't even, I haven't even imagined the box. No, I know what's in it. Okay. That. Okay. That, that, that. Okay. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik, right? Okay. Correct. I'm pretty sure I get money now. No, 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 you don't get it yet. I forgot to tell you that this is what you win, though. Oh, okay. All right. I'm under a lot of medication for my cold right now. <laughs> Don't touch it until right. you want it. Uh, this is a bag full of quarters. Feel the way that bag. Yep, see that? That's right, nasty. now, that's uh, $50 in quarters in there. Ooh, and it's, look how, it's got a dollar sign on it. Okay. Right. That's, the, that's the type that burglars actually use. Yes, yes. I've seen All right. these before. Right, Iceland's in the North Atlantic capital city, Reykjavik. In 1999, a jeweler created a one-of-a-kind of diamond Barbie doll. Within $25,000, how much did it sell for? $25,000 either side, how much did it sell for a one-of-a-kind diamond Barbie doll? I'm talking like this because I one day would quite like to host a game show. Okay. <laughs> um, priceless isn't an answer. Priceless is not an answer. Um, or is it? Or is it? Uh, 25001 and one penny. 
Actress for new show, The Millers, premieres tomorrow night at 8.30 on CBS. Take a look at this. Jamie Mays, everybody, give a night. Hello, Jamie. Hello. So, you're an economist and a Republican. Absolutely. She's not. Yes. You booked two very similar guests tonight. No, no, that's all right. I like your dress, by the way. May I say? Thank you. It's what is that's not color blocking. It's more kind of 20th century masters, I think. Well, I feel like it's futuristic. Mm, it, it might be solar bit. powered or something. Solar powered? Yeah, yeah. Are you? Well. How are things? How, how, what's going on? Um, what's happening? What's happening? Will Arnett's in that show. He is. He's yeah. a Canadian. He is a Canadian. Yeah. He goes, oh, yeah, a He lot. goes, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, gosh. Do you know how smart he is? Is he smart? Very smart. And I can tell because he's got quite a large forehead. Have you seen his forehead? <laughs> is that how you tell? Yeah, that's he how does you... have a tall forehead. Yeah, yeah, he does. Packed yeah. with brains. Oh. I don't know what that says about me. I'm a little concerned. No, you've, got, you've got quite a big forehead right there. Is it by the inch? Is that... No way. <laughs> oh, you. I haven't seen you in a while. What have you been up to? Um, well, what have you been up to? Well, just to come here and, you know, quality entertainment yeah. for free. <laughs> also, I've been getting a lot of therapy. Oh, look at the, oh, uh, yes. Yeah, yes, see? Therapy uh, time. Mm -hmm. I am, mm -hmm. in fact, now a licensed therapist. Oh, you're, you're a licensed? From the University of Television City. <laughs> I am now okay. a licensed therapist. Okay. You in therapy? Uh, I'm not in therapy. I probably should have been in therapy. At well, some you're point. in therapy now. Okay, great. All right. Because I'm terrified of everything. What are you afraid of? I was going to oh, ask gosh, you. Oh, gosh, so many things. Are you afraid um, of bugs? Uh, not so much bugs. Men in capri pants. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand it. They're either hot or you're cold, guys. I like, d you know, figure it out. I, I don't believe I've ever seen men in capri pants. Oh, yeah. what? It's disturbing. Yeah. Yeah. I, it sounds kind of interesting. I might want some capri pants for myself. No, don't do it. Don't do yeah, it. Yeah, me and Ben Stein go on his boat on uh, the lake, and I could wear my capri <laughs> pants and a, a little crop top. I'd be like, hi! Yeah. yeah. And then I'd be back in therapy if I saw No, it. come on. Yeah. yeah. So you're frightened of men in capri pants, but you don't mind bugs. What about slimy creatures? Like, Snakes well, and anything that looks quite penisy? Yeah. <laughs> um, terrified. Really? Terrified of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, terrified of government shutdowns. Oh, yeah, that is terrified. frightening. Terrified. Yeah. yeah. Have you been following this story? I, I mean, I can't really understand why they're doing this. Uh, no, I don't understand. But I don't understand a lot of things. Really? Um, <laughs> yeah, no. But I feel like, you know, I, I, I get fr the frustration with it. But I also feel like, look, guys, I'm off a couple of days. I can come and help. I can, I could sweep the Let's Pentagon. do it right here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. You know, Yosemite shut down. I can open the gate. I'm good at keys. I you open the gate, them. the bears may get out. <laughs> then you're going to see some men in Capri pants. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't. No. Um, what about your husband? I met him. He's nice. He's English, you know. Is he still English? He's still, he's still English. Yeah. English American. Oh, he became a citizen. He's a citizen now. Yeah, but yeah. he still yeah. talks like this. Though, yeah, he does. He? he does. Lovely man. It's all an act. Yeah. It's all an act. No, no. It's, did you just fall off? The, yeah, I did. Yeah, you did one of those a little bit. Okay. I saw. I meant it. to do it. I was going to let you. I was going to let you go, uh, get away with it, and then I thought, no, I won't actually. I'll. Yeah, meant to do it. Yeah, been working on that for a while. So, sometimes, you know what I've done a couple of times? Not tonight, yeah. but a couple of times I've noticed that I've been talking to a guest and a bit of spit comes out me and lands Oh, no. Oh, no. And then I think, shall I say anything about it? And I think, ah, no. best not, yeah. <laughs> and I wonder if people see it. <laughs> no, no, I'm not spitting on it. That's why I've, I, I now sit far back. <laughs> so that's the lean back. Also, I had my tooth oh. fixed. It was my tooth that was doing it. It would make a little farty sound and then spit would come out. <laughs> Turning you on a little bit? Yeah. 
a little bit. I'm leaning this way. Yeah, no, you're all right. Do you go over to England with your husband? Uh, yeah, we do. We went this summer. Um, this is what I'm fascinated by. Oh, okay. I almost just did it again. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all right. Um, this is what I'm fascinated by, Spit. Yeah. Uh, uh, they always go on walks. Did you do this growing up? So it's always about walking. Let's have a walk. Let's go for a walk. Yeah. A walk, which is really just a hike, as you're having a hike. Right. But in America, when you go on a hike, you end it by going, like, to see a beautiful waterfall or a beautiful vista at yeah, the end. Yeah, that's not how you do it over there. No. At the end of the walk there, it's a pub. Yeah, you go to the pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, actually, the walk is really to get to the pub. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. What they're really saying is don't drink and drive. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So the new show then, The Millers. Yes. Uh, it's about family, I, I, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I seem to remember. <laughs> it is. All The Millers? It's about, yes, about, it. you're very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you just saw that one clip and you already No, no, I've that. seen, I've seen the whole thing. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Aren't you on Glee anymore then? I'm doing a few more. All right. Uh, and then, uh, then it'll be all Millers all the time. Oh, all right. Yeah. So uh, Glee Millers then. Yeah, yeah. All right, that, that's big news, actually. I probably should have got to that right away. <laughs> like, at the beginning of the show. It's all right. No, oh, okay. So you're doing Glee, and then it's going to be the Millers, and it's about a family who, uh, they go for walks? It's about, um, they, go for, they go for walks. Um, no, it's about, uh, it's about a family called the Millers. Will Arnett and I play brother-sister. Right. And their parents are Margot Martindale and Bo Bridges, and they get a divorce at this uh, time in their lives, and they... What, the, the older parents? The older parents. All right. They just get a divorce, like, in the, in the pilot. I'm not giving anything away. And, um, Yeah, they... don't give anything away, because this is like Homeland. <laughs> you know, uh... <laughs> People are like, no Miller spoilers, you bastard. Um, and then they get divorced and they move back in with us. So my dad moves back in with me and, oh. and my family. Uh oh, and, and is one of you neat and is one of you untidy? Uh, I'm, well, I'm probably the more untidy. That my character is probably more untidy in this. Uh, can you get along without driving each other crazy? No, no. But can any parent and child relationship get along? Yeah, it's. All, I mean, I've got kids. I, you know, I tell them what to do, and they do it, or they go to bed. There you go. Simple as that. Actually, that's not true. The older one now, he's like, no, man. No. Does he eye roll? That's what I do. I still eye roll when my really? parents tell me to do something. Doesn't eye roll? No, he's no, he's kind of a. No, no, he didn't do that. Well, actually, a little bit like that. Yeah, yeah. he does a little bit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Attitude. Yeah. Well, he, no, he's a nice kid. It's, it's just, um, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, that's the thing. I, I don't mind that little yeah. bit of rebellion. It's yeah. all right. It's you like good. my socks? I love the socks. Yeah. Yes. They're actually tights. Are they really? Yeah. How, how, they, how far do they, they go? Yeah, away? I get a bit cold here. Aren't you yeah. cold? A little, yes. Yeah, well, crazy. you should wear some tights. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next time, can I borrow those? Yeah, you, you can't. Can you know what? They'd never fit you. I mean, they'd be enormous on you. <laughs> they come You'd up look here. like a Dr. Seuss character. <laughs> <if you're laughs> <right>. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're out of time. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, um, want to speak a little German? Oh, yeah. That's Swedish. Don't do that. Oh, no. Oh, uh, okay. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Do you, want, do you want to limber up a little bit? <coughs> Jeff will help you out. He'll coach you. You ready, yeah. Jeff? Yeah. You start to talk like this. <laughs> okay. Is that, wer geht euch dir? Oh. Did you actually say a German word? Because we don't actually know any German. Uh, <laughs> no. No, I would never say something German on this show. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. You're getting a, you're getting a little bit French. <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Now we talk like Dracula. We talk like a Dracula. I do I cannot talk like a Dracula. That's you Italian. Oh. We'll do Italian, 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 Italian Dracula. Yeah, what's the car when I go? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, we're out of time. <laughs> I'm a, I was so happy to be here. I didn't get any of that. Did you understand that? Give me a minute, everybody. Where were you? I'm wearing a hat tonight. I know, I like that hat.
Is it rude to sit down and wear a hat whilst talking to a lady? N not if you're not chewing gum. That's I'm not. It, uh, then you're fine. Okay. Yeah. Cedric the Entertainer was here. He gave me a hat. I know. I like that. It's lovely. Sometimes mm -hmm. guests give me things. Um. <laughs> have this. Oh, thank you so much. And I got you something, too. Oh. oh. So nice. Do you ever, oh, cheers. 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 <laughs> hmm. You ever, uh, you ever do that with a gift? Give it, give it away? Again? Yeah, re-gifting. I've, I've tried doing that, but it makes me really nervous, because I feel like, what if I forgot that you gave it to me, and I'm give it back to you? Doesn't that happen? Yeah, it does. To me, all the time. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I always give the gift of haggis. Oh. <laughs> it's a thoughtful And gift. it keeps moving. Have you ever been to Scotland? Have I asked you this? Uh, I don't know if you've asked me, but no, I haven't. No, well, you're, but your husband's English, isn't he? He's English. Well, you should probably, you know, when you're over visiting, go head up. Go up north. Yeah, yeah, go and have a look. Yeah. You get what? You leave King's Landing, and you go past Winterfell, <laughs> and then... <laughs> And then you get to the wall, you say hi to Jon Snow, okay. and then over the wall, and you're in Scotland. Right. Yeah. Easy peasy. Do you watch Game of Thrones? Uh, obsessed with Game of oh, Thrones. Oh, I love the obsessed. Game of Thrones, yeah. Uh... I didn't watch it, I, so I'm, I'm a latecomer to it. So we started watching it this summer. I right. watched all, what, like 40 episodes within a week. Yeah, I, I, I did that too. Yeah. Because I never watched it. And then David Benioff, who's one of the writers, was here on the show, because wow. I was talking to him about something else, and then they asked me if I would do the... Uh, the, the Comic-Con panel in, in San Diego for Game of Thrones. And I said, absolutely. And I thought, I've never seen it. Um, <laughs> so then I watched all of it, and I became obsessed with it. It is fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's oh, it's wonderful. just amazing. You can't stop watching. Do you know what I've got into now, though? No. There's a show on Netflix called uh, Peaky Blinders. Have you ever seen that? No. Crazy good. What is it? Is it it's like it's, a it's a, about a gang of criminals in Birmingham, England, uh, about 1919, 1920, okay. and they're called the uh, uh, Peaky Blinders, and they uh, and it's shot like an anime sort of. It's like Kurosawa or something made a a gangster movie in Britain. It's unbelievably oh, wow. good. Wait, does Peaky Blinder mean you're a thief? What does that? I mean? don't know. Actually, I think it was the name of a real gang. It's kind of like a uh, like a British uh, Boardwalk Empire type uh, kind of Kurosawa. -y. Oh, okay. okay. Unbelievable. You know, uh, Cillian Murphy. So cute, like Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders. No, cute. no. No. Like, no, it's not cute like that. It's okay. stabby. It's <laughs> like that. Stabby blinders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever done a, like a stabby, scary film? No, but I would love to. I think it's time. You think it's yeah, time? Yeah, because you're perky, you know, and I think that that would be a nice kind of like, well, like it couldn't have been the perky person. <gasps> it was! <laughs> ah! or, or I'm so perky you want to slip my throat. <laughs> no, not at all. I find your perkiness very endearing. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's lovely. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> I feel I should take my hat off. I feel it's rude. No. Do I have hat hair? No, you don't. All right. It's right. It's festive under there. <laughs> Very festive. Hair. Oh, under here. Yes, yeah, yes. yes. Yeah, <laughs> What's going on? Are you doing anything for Halloween? Uh, no, I'm not doing anything for Halloween. No. <laughs> Really? No, short answer. No. What no. about balloon animals? Couldn't you make some balloon animals? I could try. I could try. No, but actually, last year, we never get... I always want to get lots of trick-or-treaters, because I think it's so fun. And no one ever, ever comes. But last year, actually, we had, off the cuff, like, ten people came randomly, and we had nothing to give them. So, we had, like, a box of almonds, so I gave that to one poor kid, who's like, I don't eat... Why, you why gave almonds, almonds to a kid on Halloween? Yeah. And then and then it gets worse, so people, like, kids kept coming, and we're like, well, what else do we have one. We have a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> you know, in the neighborhood I grew up in, you'd be popular with that. Yeah, it's lovely. An oven manual. <laughs> An oven manual. <laughs> we didn't get any candy, but we learned how to work. Are you a cook? I like to cook, yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you, can you cook the vegetarian stuff? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, I can cook vegetables and meats. <laughs> I'm asking for a, I'm asking for a friend, but uh, <laughs> if I if I was to come to your house, yeah. for example, for a meal, yeah. uh, could you cook something delicious that didn't have meat or dairy? Uh, that um, lasagna. <laughs> Make your That's nice got meat sauce. and cheese in it. But I do like lasagna, so I'll... Fine, I'll be there. Uh, <laughs> have you ever been to Italy? I, I have. That's nice, isn't it? That is nice. Yeah, they make good the lasagna over there, you know. But they're okay at it. Yeah, they're okay at it. They're all right. What part of Italy did you go to? Um, I kind of all over. I did, went in the south and in the middle and then the top. Did you go to uh, Torino? 
Where's that? Uh, the top. No. Did you go to Rome? Yes. That's in the middle. Yes. That's nice. I did that. Did you go to Sicily? No. Sicily's good. Okay. Uh, that's in the south. Okay. <laughs> I like your jacket. Thanks. It's like from some kind of black and white crocodile. <laughs> yeah. yeah, from the past. It's a, from a Before crocodile from color. the past? Before yeah. there was color. <clears throat> Before there were talkies. Have you ever... <laughs> that, that's what you need this for. Ah! Say, I want an old-time crocodile. Grab it right over. Make it snappy. <laughs> ah, yeah. Have you ever used one of these? No. Well... Can I try? Uh, yeah, help yourself. Can I, who can I call? I don't know. Uh, ask the operator and they'll put you in touch with someone. Excuse me, can I just... No, you, you uh, talk in... Uh, oh. No, uh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, this way. Hello, it's uh, the operator. Uh, who can I connect you to, please? Oh, oh, uh, the Queen of England. Uh, Queen, Queen of England. England. All right, just a moment. Uh, See what she's doing. Probably 2 a.m. her time. She'll be there. Yeah? Right. Hello, just it's get... the Queen of England. Oh. And who? Am I talking to? This is, this is Jay Mamaid. Oh, one of my favorite actors in the world. Oh, are you just getting in from the club? Oh, yes. Yes, I was getting quite jiggy with it in the club, yes. Oh. Wearing my black and white crocodile shoes. Oh. Mm. Queen's wearing them. That's, That's good. fine. Um, should I ask her a question? What sure, do I do? Well, why not? Uh, um, uh, Miss Queen. Yes? Um, what do you think of... What do you think of the concept of bottomless fries? Bottomless fries? Do you like the option of being able to eat all you want, or do you like being restrained? Queen of England. The Queen of England. You don't start. You don't do double entendres with the Queen of England. Well, I, I must Sir. say, I must say, either option sounds like a great night to me. Ooh. <laughs> Click. I'm, oh, she hung up. <laughs> she hung up. <laughs> Did you hang up? You hung state? up the phone. Yes. <laughs> Click. Well, there you are. Wow. The Queen. We're out of time. Jay Mays, everybody.